Good morning. It is a big day today. Um, we are going to get our rabbits. So last night, the last of the chicks hatched, as I had told you in the last vlog, uh, we had three chicks left to hatch. Two I had to assist, and the one last egg that had yet to pip, pipped. Look what I woke up to this morning. Hi, little one. Look at you, you made it out. So that is officially all of the chicks that we had left to hatch. And I could not be happier. I'm really excited to see what cuckoo, this cuckoo's um, chicks look like. If you're new to the vlog, Miss Cuckoo is our uh, Cuckoo Moran hen, and she was bred to our Splash Americana rooster. And well, as you saw, Miss Cuckoo is black with white spots. The Splash Americana is white with black spots. So we were really curious to see what colors these babies were gonna come out as. So the first baby that hatched, it was easy to find. So, they're all pretty closely the similar color. The first one to hatch came out with kind of, not quite black, but just a darker, let's see if I can get this to focus. So it came out with the similar markings of a Cuckoo Moran, but it's back feathers are like a grayish color. They're not like, they're not black. And then we got more to hatch that are all kind of that splash color. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if these are gonna be splash. That would be so cool, splash olive acres. Oh my goodness. So we're keeping all of the olive acres. Gonna document their growth, share that with you guys, see how they grow out, what they look like as adults, and see what colors they lay uh, what color the eggs are that they lay in six months so i'm in leon's room and in our preparation to get rabbits there's there's so many details i haven't discussed i haven't shared it yet because we were just kind of in the planning phase so we are getting a pair of show rabbits for leon's 4-h um they will ultimately be breeders right now they're young so it's going to be at least nine months to a year before um we breed them uh, cause you don't want to breed rabbits too young. You want them to fully, you want them to grow out as much as possible and be fully developed. That way you don't, um, stunt their growth or cause any reproductive issues in the long run of their life. So we decided because they are going to be 4-H rabbits and Leon will be more inclined to work with them on a regular basis if they're inside. We decided to have them be inside bunnies. They're going to live in Leon's room because they are his project and I want him to work on it. So we set up these little pens for them in his room. Um, we actually converted his bed to a loft bed so he's got room for all of his toys. He needs to clean that up. <laughs> but these are the pens. They are, so these are like 14 by 14 inch wire uh, squares that I actually got off of Amazon. Um, I will leave a link down in the description for these. They were the most affordable option for me to make custom pens. I actually have a bunch in the back left over so that we can, when they are fully grown, we can expand them down the road if we want or need to. Most likely we probably will expand them a little bit just to give them some extra room, but they come with these clamps. So they, they clamp together very easily, but they're still very secure. And then I used, I further uh, secured them with, with zip ties. And then, then I used some clips here, like a hair clip to hold it closed. And then this is the gate to let them in. Now, I don't know yet if the two le levels is gonna be high enough. Um, I think it's gonna be plenty high enough to prevent them from jumping out. They are bunnies though, we'll see, but on the inside we've got the blue is actually a liner that I had made 
it's got fleece on the top to allow for drainage and then the bottom is made from a waterproof mattress protector to uh, prevent uh, anything from getting on the floor. Now we are planning on potty training our rabbits. Rabbits can be litter trained, so we are gonna be litter training them, um, but still they can have accidents, they can make messes. So we're gonna go ahead and have this and this will be our kind of low waste uh, option where I can basically take these out. I'm planning on making two more and uh, I can wash them and reuse them and then I'm not wasting stuff or spending more money on liners or bedding. So these were actually really, really easy to make. So basically I went to Walmart and I bought uh, a fleece blanket and a uh, waterproof uh, bed spread. I can't remember what it was exactly, but it was waterproof and absorbent. And I think it cost me like, with taxes, 12 bucks at the most. Together they were, yeah, about 12 to 15 bucks with, with tax at the most. And um, I sewed them together. Basically you want to lay them together and you can cut them out into any size that you want. Um, but you take the fleece and you take the waterproof liner and you wanna make sure that you, when you lay them together, lay the waterproof layer on the inside so that when you stitch it together and turn it inside out to have the finished seams, you've got the waterproof waterproofing layer on the bottom and the fleece on the top and then the absorbent layer is in the middle and the way the reason why this works out so good is because the fleece kind of acts as a drainage to let if they have if they pee and they have an accident the that will drain through the fleece and the fleece will kind of feel dry on the top while the absorbent layer below absorbs the urine so of course whenever you sandwich them together you, you stitch them together i use my sewing machine um, one tip to one tip that I'm gonna give you to make sure that you get those nice crisp corners is to snip off the excess fabric on the corners then once you turn it inside out once you turn it right side out you just can do a finish seam to close up the gap where you use to turn it out and then it's done excited to see how these do like I said I mean it's, it's a waterproof liner so nothing should go through hopefully but we'll see I tried to make these kind of fun now there is gonna be things on these we've got two shelves we've got this low shelf that they can hop up onto and then this top shelf that they can hop up onto and that way that gives them some height some variation room to play and then we will probably like hang things for them to play with we're gonna go get them today and uh, if you would like me to share an in-depth video on how I made these liners, leave a comment down below. Um, I'll be more than happy to. Like I said, I've got plans to make two more so that I have four sets so that we can take these out and wash them weekly. Um, and then I can just put them right back. I don't have to worry about them being on the floor in between during washes. So leave a comment down below if you want me to make that uh, tutorial video on how to make those. So we're going to go get the rabbits today and uh, we're gonna also go to uh, Ikea to go get some things. <laughs> Ikea, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. But no, we're actually gonna go to Ikea to get some rabbit goodies. So I'm actually gonna share in a separate video our actual in-depth trip to Ikea for rabbit goodies, just to share with you guys some things that you can get at Ikea for rabbits. Um, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to meet them. So excited for bunnies. Oh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Anna, are you excited for bunnies? Yeah. <laughs> so have you thought about any names? We need to start brainstorming names. I know you were thinking about like salt and pepper. Yeah, something that goes to, together like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, well, they're going to be a pair. They're going to be a couple. So we need to make something that's kitschy and cute. Hmm? I want to name one Mochi. Oh, what? Um, one of them's like a light tan colored or something, right? Mm-hmm. I have to think about it. We should, we should. We should. We should name one of them Mochi. How about Mochi and Jelly? Because uh, Jelly goes we'll inside think, Mochi. We'll think, think about something that would go with Mochi. What is Mochi? Mochi like is that chewy uh, Japanese glutinous rice rice treat. I don't know if I got you to try it. What's but basically, inside Mochi. Mochi can have different flavors inside you. The, the traditional one is red bean paste, which is a sweet paste. 
It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. But mochi, basically oh, what they about, do. How about mochi and bean paste? We'll see. <laughs> We'll mochi. figure it out. So mochi basically, they take glutinous rice and they steam it and then they pound it and it activates the glutens in the rice and it forms this sticky like dough almost. Mm -hmm. And they take this sticky dough and they put fillings in it and they coat it in cornstarch, which doesn't have any flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's sweet in a sense. But it's really, it's totally cool. It's like very unique. There are some flavors that are really not that good. Um, I think, like they have peanut butter, they have green tea, they have, um, but I guess, I guess it'd be matcha. They have matcha. They have <gasps> matcha. All, they, <gasps> matcha. Matcha and mochi. mochi matcha and, and mochi. mochi. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to make names of matcha and mochi. Matcha <laughs> and mochi, that's cute. That's cute. Yes. Yes. Okay, so the bunny's name's probably gonna be matcha Sold. and mochi. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a, unless we come up with something better between now and when we get them. It's matcha and mochi. Matcha and mochi. Daddy's gonna. My <laughs> rabbit's my name. It's matcha and mochi. <laughs> Daddy's gonna roll his eyes with us whenever he hears that. I, that we're gonna name them matcha and mochi. <laughs> that's actually actually flows really cute. <laughs> <laughs> going on escalator 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 <laughs> I miss I missed Ikea a lot of the stuff in here is just amazing and they they specialize in small-scale living like that you'll see setups and they tell you how many square feet the room is so like look at this kitchen very comfy bed for just nice so Leon is giving right. us a tour of Ikea. <laughs> right here is a nice armchair. He works here now. He, he does. We only have an hour here. We gotta, we gotta find what we need. Oh my oh, God, is this a wallpaper? Murals wallpaper.com. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I don't need to spend money. I don't need to spend money. I don't need to spend money. I think, I think, I think I found something that I need to get for the future house. Like, oh my gosh, look, that at, look so at that. Priced, that is so gorgeous. I actually have been seeing a lot lately where lint rollers are actually excellent for helping uh, bunnies de-shed. So we're gonna go ahead and get two because they're actually pretty affordable here. It's like literally 79 cents per roll. Yeah, we're gonna get two of these. Come on, buddy. Dude, I'm gonna misbehave so bad in here when we finish building the house. <laughs> In our crates for our rabbits, well not our crates, but our enclosures for our rabbits, it is um, metal wire grids. I have some like shelf levels for them to hop up on. Uh, I need to put a solid. They have these, it's thick plastic, which is perfect. They are uh, desk pads and they're only $5.99 each. Um, one of these would cover each crate. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two. We built this room on that. Tell me you love classic art without telling me you love classic art. <laughs> they built a whole room off I Starry would theme Night. an entire room off of Starry Night. <laughs> <laughs> she's in heaven. <laughs> she Just to preface this, she's never been to an Ikea, so this is like all new to her. And I'm just like, girl, look at that. Look, they have drawers for makeup. That's what I want. <laughs> Watch out, buddy. She's gonna take a picture. Oh my God! And look at how look at how compact that is. Holy! Take a look at this flash chair. So like, and you could pull these drawers out, and they're shallow, so you could like lay your products out and on, on sides. So I'm thinking we might actually get this for our rabbits. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. It is the Varira. Varira? I I don't know how to pronounce all these. I'm terrible about pronouncing these, but that is the name, and that is the price. And it is actually right now their lowest price apparently, so we're gonna go ahead and get two of these as a possibility because there's another one that I am thinking about. I'm gonna compare the sizes and see how much because I wanna provide them with as much hay as possible because you want them to be on free choice hay. So this is kind of unrelated to rabbits, but look at these ceramic cactuses. Oh my goodness, they're $14.99. They are so cute. I'm not gonna spend money, I'm not gonna okay. spend money, I'm not gonna spend money. We're in the danger zone now, where all of the things are. 
I want to have a gadget wall in my kitchen. A gadget wall. wall for all of my miscellaneous gadgets. Wouldn't that be awesome? Maybe then I'd actually cook. <laughs> no, no. Do you even have bookshelves? I do. Come okay. Okay. <laughs> She's over here like, shut up. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen A to Z bookends on Pinterest and I tag them every time. No, I don't have any. Leon found something he wants. Can I please have Well, maybe, maybe we can I'll think pay about- i with five weeks of chores. Oh, hold on, honey, you're still please. paying me. Hold on, not right now. Maybe we can think about it for your birthday. I'll take a picture of it so we can save it for your birthday, okay? That would actually be really, that's actually a really cool little chair. It is cute. How much is it? It's $50. Yeah, it's a little it's a little pricey, but but that's actually really cool. Here, I'm gonna take a picture of you sitting on it. Let me take a picture of it. All right, there we go. I've got to say that's actually technically a dog or cat bed. What? It's a pop up box. Mm hmm. Oh my god, that's adorable. Right. I think I did a good job of behaving. I didn't get too much stuff. We were good. We actually got. Which one? There's a lot of stuff over there. I want the hammock. <laughs> There's a lot of aisles here, aren't there, Leon? There's aisles. So I just found these in the as is bin. Look at the colors on these. Like these would be so cute for whenever you're mixing mixing sauces or even just drinking tea. It's the Gladelig. And they've got it marked down. Normally it's $7.99. They've got it marked for four dollars. Alright, this is gonna be my this is gonna be my one my one purchase for me personally. Just got the rabbits. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me break it up a little bit. Look at them. This, this is our, this is the doll. Oh baby. Oh, Here, look at the ears. Oh my goodness. Look at her. She's beautiful. So it's been a little bit since we got the rabbits and something happened. Um, this was nobody's fault. It was kind of just, it happened. Uh, so we got our rabbits and we were so excited in the moment that we didn't even realize it until we got home, but she accidentally gave us the wrong buck. Now, honest mistake, she was like totally embarrassed. She was, she felt so horrible. She's like, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I did that. I'm bringing your buck down. So she drove down, brought the buck to us and I... <laughs> In the moment of her feeling bad for what happened, she she gifted us another bunny. <laughs> and part of me is like, do we need another bunny? And I talked to Davis, and he was in agreement, do we need another bunny? But then we were both like, but it's free. And so we got a third bunny. So gonna go ahead and give y'all a chance to meet them so the one who has been here the longest and has now gotten settled in is mochi mochi hi you wanna come say hi there you go sweetie here honey come say hi come here mochi mochi you gonna come say hi hi pretty girl so this is Mochi, our doe, my sweetheart. She is the sweetest little thing, super sweet and gentle, very cutely colored. Look at these ears, oh my goodness. They just, they're so long. And look at that sweet face. Mochi. My sweetheart. <laughs> and then here is our buck. This is Matcha. Matcha. He's still settling in because we just got him here uh, a couple days ago. But here is the handsome man. Hi, honey. Oh, bless you, buddy. The breeder that we got them from has done an outstanding job starting them off. They're very gentle. They've been handled regularly. She, she definitely, you can tell that she really did put a lot of care into starting these rabbits. See, look at him. Hi, honey. <laughs> Isn't he a pretty boy? He's so pretty. Hi, handsome. So this is our buck, matcha. So we've got matcha, mochi. And then here is our surprise 
third rabbit. Her name is Yuki. Yuki. And she's still settling in, but Yuki. She is a broken frosty, so you can kind of see. Hey, Yuki. She's still settling in, but she is very sweet and gentle. Hi, honey. Hi, cutie. <laughs> Hi, Mochi. You're curious, I know. So this is sweet little Yuki. After having the rabbits for a week, we kind of, and then the anticipation of getting a third rabbit, we actually decided to change up how their pens were set up. Uh, originally, they were kind of behind me, where, where you're kind of looking at behind me now. This, so now they are under Leon's bed and they've got their full little setup. Look at all that room you got now, bud. So we did the liners like I showed you guys in the, uh, the beginning of the video. And then we are putting a extra, just kind of like a security barrier underneath with puppy pads, just as an extra layer of protection. We don't want to risk uh, they're getting poop or pee on the floor or on Leon's wood frame of his bed. So just to be cautious, we're, we added that extra layer of protection. Hi, handsome boy. Yes, you are so sweet. You see how sweet they are? You just reach in and just pat them and they're like, okay, this is fine. I trust you. Mochi. Hi, honey. Mochi is just the sweetest. She's been getting used to us a lot. We've been trying to handle her frequently. Leon's been interacting with them daily. Oh, did you finally turn around so we can see your beautiful face? Hi, Yuki. Hi, honey. There you go, Yuki. You're settling in. Here. We actually made some toys out of uh, toilet paper rolls with hay in them, and they've been, as you can see, she's been chewing on it. Here, honey. You want your toy? Just hanging out, getting used to everything. So they've definitely been settling in nicely. I couldn't be happier. Um, we have been, I was a little worried about the stress, uh, giving them some loose stools, but they've handled the transition to a new home very well. We've got them set up. We've got, we are, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they are, we are litter training them. So we've got them set up with their litter boxes. Um, we've got their liners that we've been checking, changing out weekly sometimes more frequently just because they're being litter trained they are um they're having accidents they're learning it's, it's a learning process and you want what you basically want to do is you want to keep their liner where they walk around you want to keep that clean as possible and keep the 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 the, the poop and the pee in the litter box because then they smell it and say oh, okay this is where i'm supposed to go so i try to go through periodically and pick up any droppings and drop it just and i basically just dispense it into the litter boxes so that it's in there <laughs> hi honey and then we got some um and then we've got their waterers. We found these really cool uh, bowls that clip to the side. Um, I was, we didn't get the bottles with the droppers. Personally, um, after doing some like research and reading into it, there was, some people were saying that they're more inclined to dehydrate, they're more uh, at a higher risk of dehydration because they don't get enough water out of it. So we're just like, well, we'll give them bowls and they've been doing excellent with it. They've been drinking and staying hydrated out of the bowls. And we keep, we just keep it up. Uh, the next thing we're actually getting right now, I've got these little glass bowls because you want to when your um, rabbits like to poop and pee where they eat. So we've been feeding them their hay is right above their litter box and then we've been feeding them inside their litter box with their food. But I'm gonna get, actually we're gonna get another one of those clamp on the wall uh, bowls and we're gonna actually clamp it at the sides of their litter boxes. So all of their food is right here and they're eating right there. So, oof, are you getting the zoomies? You're getting all kinds of playful, hi, you're so cute. 
And then we've got, so we've just got some little things in here for them to chew on. We've got pine cones tied up on string and they love it. They've been chewing on it, but yeah, here's our little, our little setup with our bunnies. So they are, Mochi is about, actually I think she's about 10 weeks old now. And um, I gotta get, we're getting the pedigrees from the breeders here soon. Um, she's getting their names filled in and everything now that we've decided on names. And we, uh, I guess the next thing is to get them, their ears tattooed and take them to, uh, I think you have to take them somewhere. Because rabbits, the the uh, registration process for rabbits is, a, is I think one of the strictest. Where you, when you go to register your rabbit, you have to actually present the rabbit to be inspected before they will accept the registration. So we are getting the pedigrees and then we're gonna get them registered, get their ears tattooed with a registration number. I think that's how that works. And then, yeah, Leon's gonna work with them over the course of the next year and then next year he will show them in 4-H. And then after next year's 4-H show, it's breeding time for the first time. And we will be starting our breeding program. And I'm really excited about that. So I'm really excited. I feel like we got pretty good, pretty good foundation stock. Miss Mochi is, the pictures don't, and video don't do her justice. She is absolutely gorgeous. So we'll be keeping you guys updated on our uh, rabbit journey and uh, let you guys see more of them from time to time. And uh, maybe as we go learning along our journey of learning how to be rabbit keepers and breeders, share that uh, with you guys as well. <laughs>